A commute, a nightmare until the 2nd Avenue subway finally arrived, right? Well, now Upper East Siders also have new select bus service, and they have bike lanes to add to their commute options. So how is this all working out? Of course, we're going to head over to News Force Andrew Siff, who met up with the city's transportation commissioner today to find out. Hey, Andrew. Hey, Natalie. The city said today they have new numbers which show how much things have improved. Take a look across the street. That's the new entrance to the 2nd Avenue subway. You see the glass enclosed escalator entrance there. You see the cabs out in front? Interesting visual there because one of the things the city now says is there are many fewer cross-town cabs and your ride across town has gotten a lot faster. Downtown traffic is still bad. Oh, it's crazy. But guess what's not so crazy lately? Crosstown traffic on the city's new M86 select bus. Because it comes frequent and it's, it gets you there faster. City officials today released a new report showing bus speeds on 86th Street have increased about 10% since last year, and yellow taxi traffic is down 30%. City Transportation Commissioner Polly Trottenberg even rode a city bike to 86th Street and 2nd Avenue and wore a flower in her hair to celebrate what officials call a transit garden. Commutes on the Upper East Side are getting better. A bouquet of options since the new subway opened. With a new ferry terminal in this neighborhood next year as well. But News 4 questioned some of the data. Yellow taxis are down all across Correct. the city. Correct, no, no, but I think so, yeah, here, here we're seeing actually a more dramatic decline. And asked why City Hall hasn't gotten more aggressive in other neighborhoods, given new numbers from the Taxi and Limousine Commission, showing a surge in black car traffic from nearly 40,000 cars two years ago to nearly 70,000 now. Why have you not told a mayor, put your muscle behind congestion pricing, that'll really cut down on the number of drivers? Well, commissioners don't give mayors orders. It actually works the other way around. Drivers like Elisa and Neftali Fuentes, who commute from Pelham Bay to Lower Manhattan, sure would appreciate relief. What's your drive from the Bronx to downtown? My drive, what should be a 30-minute drive, is at least an hour and 15 minutes. And of course, tension between drivers and cyclists, like what our cameras witnessed today. Yeah, it's not going to all be solved overnight. Way down in the distance, you can see the next select bus headed across town here on the Upper East Side. The city says to expect more of those on 79th Street and other thoroughfares because they say the data shows that it works. We're live on the Upper East Side tonight. Andrew Siff, News 4 New York.